Furniture company Wayfair is an extremely volatile stock. Shares popped 10% on Friday on news of job cuts, but the stock is still down more than 80% from its 2021 peak. At the current price, the company has a market cap of $6.6 billion. It's got $1.3 billion of cash on the balance sheet and $3.2 billion of long-term debt, so the enterprise value is $8.5 billion. Wayfair went public in October 2014 and five months later, short interest cleared 10%. Since then, the figure has been consistently in the double digits and right now 24% of Wayfair's float is sold short. In other words, lots of investors are betting against Wayfair and it's not difficult to see why. The company was founded more than 20 years ago but it's still nowhere close to profitability. Net losses over the past four quarters near a billion dollars. In fact, 2020 is the company's only profitable year since its IPO. Adjusted EBITDA is at least positive but add back stock-based compensation and Wayfair is still sharply in the red. Structurally this business model simply doesn't work. Offering free shipping on bulky furniture items drives revenue growth but it's not a way to generate consistent profits and even revenue growth has been slowing down. Sales are down roughly 15% since the pandemic. And yet Wayfair still has a significant enterprise value over $8 billion. The reason is that online penetration in furniture and home furnishings is still low at around 20%. That is much lower than other categories, which means Wayfair could potentially have years of growth ahead. Meanwhile, the company's scale and selection gives it an advantage over rivals. Notably, while Wayfair sales are down 3% this year, RH sales have plunged 19% and Bed Bath & Beyond went bankrupt. In the future, Wayfair should be able to lower its sales and marketing spend and get its bottom line closer to profits. If that scenario plays out, Wayfair stock should have significant upside. So despite the obvious pressures, there are investors who still believe in the long-term bull case. But the items that Wayfair stocks are inherently low margin and furniture is best purchased in person. Wayfair already has a shaky reputation among customers and there is simply no evidence of consistent profits. This stock should remain a volatile one and I give it a negative rating. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice and I hold no position in Wayfair. For more investing videos, make sure to visit my website, 3minutebreakdowns.com. Thank you for watching.